Like I'm on Jamaica Avenue, so there's things going on. Um, a lot of things going on with George. George, the camp. George. George. Um, George Floyd. Sorry, that excuse me, take a long time. Um, I think what's wrong with happened, the police. You know how it goes. Black and Latino communities, it goes like that. You know, first the Choco, now you have him have neck and um, condolences to the to the George Floyd family because one thing about it. But police brutality has been going on for centuries, so a lot of things are going on looting at the stores. There's stores like really have wood stuff. And um, my condolences to the family and his daughter. You know, she's six years old. She don't have a father no more. So everything is good. Um, I'll be moving soon. But to get off topic, and get on topic. George Floyd, he didn't deserve to die like that. And Black Lives Matter and Latino Lives Matter. Um, I'm a former protester, so I know the feeling of black and white because I mean I'm black, I grew up in a black neighborhood, so I'm black Latino. So it's going to affect you with Latino people. It's not going to affect black people, it's going to affect Latino people. Police have been doing this for years, since centuries, and my former friends and Anna and the uh, soccer player is really said horrible comments. You don't even know the man. For people to say the n-word to me and I, and I say what I have to say, you know, and it's a lot you have to go through and I'm sorry that the man really died like that. He didn't deserve to die like that. So I saw everything on Twitter, I saw everything on social media. So I've not been around as much lately, but I saw a lot and I think it was wrong. Rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, a lot of marches, rallies will be happening now. There was loons in stores, and I don't blame them because everybody's angry and everybody handled it very differently. Not everybody handled it the same like the 60s. This is 2020. You've been doing this since 1400s to now. So it's nothing new what y'all doing. So um, I hope he gets, I hope, I don't know what's going to happen. But I don't think it would get justice because they've been doing this for years, the police department. And they justify it, so what could you do? You keep doing reforms and all this nonsense, but he didn't deserve to die like that. You know, he couldn't breathe, and I just saw the whole tape, and I'm very disgusted. Rest in peace, George Floyd, his thinking of my, my condolences go to Fami and his daughter. Rest in peace. Um, that's pretty much it. It was totally uncalled for. And that's all I have to say. Everybody have a blessed day.